Hi everyone, Sean Geringer here, KC0AKY, and today I'm going to show you how to install the MD380 tools on your radio. Sometimes these are called the hacked firmware. So first things first, we need to download some tools. We're going to download Oracle VirtualBox, we're going to download the VirtualBox extension pack, and we're going to download the MD380 tools OVF template. Let's get started. Open your web browser. And if you don't want to do the Google searches that I'm going to do in this video, I will have links to all of the downloads that you need actually in the description of the YouTube video. In the video, I'll search for these, but you can just follow the links in the YouTube video. Since I'm on Windows, I'll download the Windows Hosts version. If I was on a Mac, I would download the OS X. And you'll see right below that is the next thing we need, the VirtualBox extension pack. So click on All Supported Platforms to begin that download. That just leaves the OVF template that we need to download now. So this is hosted at GitHub, which is a repository that allows developers to host their code. So I'm going to search for it on GitHub, and you'll see it's created by another ham called KD4Z. And about halfway down on the page, you'll actually find the download link. It'll say single file. So when you click it, it will take you to Google Drive. Now the easiest thing to do here is just click the download at the top right of the screen and then download anyway. If you try to extract it on Google and download the file that way, it'll really slow down the process. Make sure all three files are completed downloading before we go on to the next step. So the next step is installing the software we've just downloaded. So again, let's launch Explorer and go into our Downloads folder. And we'll start off by double-clicking VirtualBox's installer and just follow the prompts. There's no need to change anything from the defaults in VirtualBox. So just hit Next and Next here as well. Click Yes. This is warning us that our network connection will be interrupted. And then hit Install and Yes. The install will take a few seconds. You may get a prompt like this, depending on your version of Windows, just hit install. I leave the checkbox marked for Start Oracle VM and click Finish. Once VM VirtualBox Manager comes up, click the File menu and Preferences. This is where we'll actually add the extensions. So under the extensions on the left hand side, click the down arrow on the right hand side and then make sure you're in your downloads folder and double click the VirtualBox extension pack. You'll have to click install and the next screen will ask you to agree to the license. Before you can click I agree, you need to scroll to the very bottom. Once you've read that, you can agree and hit yes. Now once the extension pack is finished installing, let's go ahead and close out of everything and reboot our computer. After rebooting, it's time to import the VM. So first, let's go back into Explorer and go to our downloads folder. We downloaded a zip file, but we need an OVF file. So right click on the TYT underscore, underscore KD4Z and choose Extract All. This process will take a few minutes. When it's done, you'll have the OVF file. You can close out of that and close out of our Downloads folder. Now let's launch VirtualBox. Double click it. Under the File menu, select Import Appliance. Click the Browse, which is the carrot and go to our downloads folder and double click the OVF file. You can review the settings before clicking import if you wish and the import process will take a couple seconds. Before we can start the VM let's review the network settings to make sure it will come up online. So go to the network tab make sure attached to is specified to NAT and under Advanced, make sure we have the PCNet adapter. 
Also go to the USB tab and make sure that the patched MD380 is checked. Now, either click the start in the toolbar or right click, select start and regular start. If you get a warning message or an error box, just click uh, OK. And you can also click the X to take these little text boxes that cover up the screen away. So now we are in the MD380 tools. Let's first check to make sure we have internet connectivity. So type in ping and then space and then google.com. If you see responses like this, that means we're connected to the internet. Press and hold control and press the C key to cancel out of this. Let's type menu to go back to the menu. Now we're ready to update everything. So type in GLV and press enter. This will pull the latest versions of everything from the internet. This will take some time. Go get a coffee and come back when this is finished, about 10 minutes later. Once it's finished, it will tell you all of the work that it did, say processing complete, and then drop you into the command prompt. Let's type menu to go back to the main menu. Now before we can actually program our radio, let's plug it in just with it powered on normally and right click on the USB icon and make sure that while it's plugged in, it comes up and it's checked. If not, you might need to come in here and actually add a check box to the USB to the MD380 radio. Once you have a check mark next to your MD380, hit OK and let's upgrade the firmware. Before we can upgrade the firmware, we actually need to do a few things. But it's important to take a brief pause and let you know what we've all done. We've built all the tools from the latest versions online. In the future, if you want to build the latest tools, all you'll need to do is start VirtualBox, type GLV, and you'll be right where we're at here. So all the work that we've done has prepared you for a very easy process updating this in the future. Most people do GLV to get everything and then flash and flash DB, which I'm going to show you now. So to put our radio in the right mode to flash it, first we turn it off, then we plug in the USB cable, and then it's a little bit tricky, but we need to press both the push to talk and the top button while turning the radio on. If you're successful, it'll blink red and green on the top LED. When you see that, you're ready to flash. Type in the word flash, F-L-A-S-H, and press enter. This process will take some time. Give it about five to 10 minutes to flash your radio. Whatever you do, do not interrupt this process. If you interrupt this process, your radio could be made inoperable. It is important you allow it to complete. I've sped this process up. When it's done, it'll take you right back to the menu. Once it's done, turn off your radio to exit the bootloader mode, pull the USB cable, and turn it back on normally. You should see today's date at the bottom of that power on screen. All we have left to do is upgrade the contacts DB now. So this time we do not need to place the radio into the special bootloader mode. So just leave the radio powered on normally and plug the USB cable in like you would normally. When the USB cable is connected, this time we're going to type in flash db, all one word, f-l-a-s-h db, and press the enter key. This will take some time. You'll see your radio will say PC program USB mode. This process takes about 15 minutes. I have sped it up considerably. That is all you need to do to upgrade your MD380 to the latest tools and to include the latest contacts on your radio. Thank you very much.